2022 coach, I documented every day kind of some of the things I was going through. I'm gonna use those videos in this next year of 2023 coach. I think it's gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna put a lot of effort into it. First question is always, what is your goal? And that's something you have to think about, something that you have to kind of get a little detailed on, maybe a little specific, because if it's too vague, it's something that's gonna be really difficult to be a path, to build a path to go towards. So I pretty much have that kind of set, but for you, when it comes to change or whether it's performance, weight loss, things like that, you're gonna to have to really kind of think about this and make sure that whatever it is, you know, it's in the realm of realism, it's in the realm of possibility, you know, it's something that you could do that it seems difficult, but something you kind of make move towards. Make sure it's time-based, things like that. If you're new to nutrition, calories are something that are kind of important, especially when it comes to metrics and quantifying certain things. Now there's this uh, term called SECO, calories in, calories out. A caloric deficit is where you've expended more energy than you brought in, right? Because calories are energy. So if you expend more calories, then you take in, you're in a deficit, right? Your body had to use extra energy, which we hope is fat. When it comes to nutrition, you know, it's important to balance your life. There's meals that can be fun. You don't have to be all nutrient density when it comes to dieting. Make sure that you like your diet. If you don't like it, then change it. Not everybody needs to make these changes, but I know there's some out there that are looking for ways to do it. They're tired of eating the same old stuff or eating healthy and not getting the results because there's a bunch of ways you can lose weight, lose fat. It's really going to depend on your environment, your genetics and et cetera, et cetera. All the different things that go into creating a lifestyle, which is a combination of the psychology and the physiology of who we are. And that brings up to my final point, which is the best question of all when you're doing any of these things is to ask yourself, why? Why am I doing this behavior? Why is it important? Why is it healthy? Why is it needed? Let's say that's the formulation of getting the insight to say change or start change or seeking change. It's that underlying reason of how it fits you and why is the most important question, I think. What's going on? It's your boy, Coach. Thanks for tuning in. And the first thing I know you gotta be thinking is, what in the world, Jello? This is so simple. Why would you tell me something like this? This is something I know how to make. And something about this Jello that you don't see is that there's ways to say, make this a little bit better, make your suffering a little bit less. This is sugar-free Jello. That's what makes this important. It's super simple. And so there's a lot of different ingredients and things you can make that don't require, say, too much effort or too much complexity. Just adding in that Jello, adding in the water, stir it together, put it in the fridge let it set and that's it and this is only 80 calories for the entire bowl and then what I'm gonna do for this one is use frozen fruit in there just to give it some texture because just plain jello is kind of not really exciting well the most important thing for this week is understanding saying bang for the buck cost and I'm not talking about maybe your budget I'm talking about calories there's a lot of different things you can do to make really quick dishes that are gonna save you on calories and reduce cravings because when you're in a calorie deficit at some point hunger is gonna come get you now this was something I saw on another channel more plates more dates one of the most overlooked diet hacks in my opinion it is it is gonna play into the long-term role though. So if you can save 10, 20, 30 calories here and there, that's gonna be fantastic. And you know, I'm low on calories for the day or trying to save on calories. So something kind of important as we get started is to just start simple, start small. If you try and make a big jump, this is gonna be really difficult. We're not gonna go into a complex meal prep because that takes time to learn. And learning what ingredients you need to buy at the grocery is really important. If you go watch the Endless series, I talk about this stuff. But for today, probably go through some of my other videos 
just to kind of see all the different tricks, tools, equipment I'm using. That's going to do it for me today. I'll see you in the next video.